So digital dentures, that's one of the next big things in, in CAD CAM. And we have been a pioneer in digital dentures, uh, having introduced our first product already several years ago. However, since then, the options for production have greatly expanded and we have now very cost-effective and fast production methods available thanks to the availability of new materials and new equipment. And that obviously created demand for a new version of our denture module, uh, which would provide greater flexibility uh, with regard to digital denture production. So as usual, we try to be as open as we can and give our customers as many options uh, as we can. And that's precisely what we did with the new denture module. So with the Plovdiv release, our customers have now the maximum choice of different production methods. You can, you can print the base, print the teeth, print the base, use tooth cards, you can mill the teeth, you can mill the base also, and a combination of these options, uh, especially for milling different production types of support. It's really very flexible. And another very common feature request with regard to uh, digital dentures was the ability to create single arch dentures, which is once again something that we added in the Plovdiv release. We also greatly expanded the availability of tooth libraries. You will find the big names there. You will also find the local heroes in the, from the different geographies there. So we have really an extremely extensive um, library of denture teeth. Uh, some of them are completely open in the sense that you can print the teeth, mill the teeth yourself. Others are more closed in the sense that you actually have to use the teeth purchased from the manufacturers, the tooth card. It's up to the manufacturers uh, to decide, but I'm actually quite thrilled that uh, even some of the uh, larger manufacturers decided to make their tooth shapes completely open and enable in-lab production. So talking about, well, actually, maybe, maybe I shouldn't just talk about digital dentures, but make it a little broader and say removables. Because also, uh, when it comes to partials, uh, there has been a great improvement in the latest release of the partial CAD module as part of the Plovdiv uh, release. Uh, traditionally, when we talked about uh, CAD CAM partials, we were talking about partial frameworks. Well, with the latest version of the partial CAD module, we also have, as a beta feature, the option to create digitally the rest of the partial, meaning you can print or mill the gingiva, you can print and mill the teeth and then put it together. So fully digital uh, partial restorations. So originally the plan was to really make a completely focused release on removables, digital entries and partials. But as it is, we got kind of carried away and added that little feature and that other feature that was not so little but pretty cool. And it ended up being a pretty large release with lots of improvements all over the place. And I won't get too much into detail, but just, just a few highlights, productivity improvements, especially for complex uh, implant-borne restorations like thimble crowns, where we have really, due to the new features and the improved automation, a much more smooth workflow that saves great amount of time for uh, the labs doing this sort of restorations. Uh, for over dentures, we've had improvement. And then the modules have been improved, like the model creator, where we have more options, for example, for controlling the fit, for example, for implant models. And then uh, the virtual articulator module has been improved in the sense that together with the partner company, Zebris, uh, we now support a fully digital workflow, so you can have a properly positioned arches in the virtual articulator in a full digital process, thanks to devices me measuring patient jaw movement. Again, I won't get too much into detail, really. I've just touched the surface here uh, of, the, of the innovations that we're bringing with the Plovdiv release.